Oh, yes! Roasted cauliflower. It's amazing! West, baby! Oh, glad to see that. Um. Follow me if you like what you see. So, what you'll need here is two heads of cauliflower, four glows of garlic, some oregano, and some basil and Himalayan pink salt, olive oil, rosemary, paprika, black pepper, and red pepper flakes. You're gonna wanna preheat your oven to a steamy 425 degrees. And now we're gonna cut a few large portions of the cauliflower heads. You will notice that there'll be a lot of stray little cauliflower pieces hanging around. That's okay, we can cook those as well. We just want the big meaty heads as well for the main part of this dish. Time to transfer all the cauliflower to a baking dish. Drizzle and coat all of the cauliflower with the olive oil. It's important to make sure you get it all oily and ready for bacon. Mm-hmm, yummy garlic time. So now mince the four garlic cloves all over the cauliflower. Grind up that delicious Himalayan pink salt all over the cauliflower. I love that noise, by the way. <laughs> now it's time for black pepper. Here I use black pepper with chili inside of it. You can use any kind of black pepper you want. Shake on some of those red pepper flakes. Plop on some rosemary leaves. Time to sprinkle on some paprika. Basil is amazing. I love it. It makes everything taste so good. So now it's time to separate and chop up the basil. I used about three tablespoons worth. Spread the basil on the cauliflower. And now, just like the basil, we're going to separate and chop with the oregano. I also used about three tablespoons worth of oregano. Spread the oregano all over the cauliflower. Time for the oven for 25 to 35 minutes and don't forget to flip halfway through. It's flipping time. And now it's back into the oven until they reach a nice golden caramelized brown edge. Look at those! Oh yes, looks like they're done. Take them out of the oven. Oh yes! Listen to the sizzleness! Is that a word? Sizzleness. They are sizzling so much. They look so sizzling good.
By the way, cauliflower is really good for you. Let's take one more peek at that beauty. Now it's ready for you to dive in. Go ahead, enjoy the sizzling goodness. Hey, hey, I'm so sorry to again ruin your amazing view of the waterfall. I'm actually, I'm at Gonic Falls in Rochester, New Hampshire. This place is amazing. It's so easy. It's like you park on the side of the street and it's like a 0.5 mile walk down. You, you can hike in here for like four or five miles if you want to. The mosquitoes are awful. So make sure you bring spray, which I don't. They're really bad. <laughs> but the waterfall is amazing back here. Dude, I don't want to ruin your view. See that? That's so nice. I love it. I actually brought with me, I got some of that cauliflower. I got some of that cauliflower too. So the roasted cauliflower with the basil and the oregano all that good stuff too. Uh, that's right here. The mosquitoes are awful. I think they're getting hungry. <laughs> they smell the food. So check this out. You got the roasted cauliflower. Got the oregano, the basil, the olive oil, the garlic, all of that good stuff in there. It's so tasty. Yeah, it's cool for a hike. We definitely come here. It's Gonic Falls in Rochester, New Hampshire. It's amazing. It's such a beautiful hike too. Bring your bucks away because it's really bad. I'm gonna enjoy my cauliflower and join these falls. Four flats, see that? I just want to say thank you so very much for watching my video on the roasted cauliflower. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see all of your creations through pictures. Please follow my YouTube account for more videos and follow me on Instagram at West Baby Healthy Living and West Missouri. Look forward to linking up with you.